In this video tutorial, Color Cord Company will help guide you through the steps on how to wire an ivory, medium base, basic socket. Here are the tools that you'll need as well as the socket parts to perform this task. This is the cap of your socket. It's where you'll feed the conductor wires through and secure the ground wire. This is the shell of your socket. It's where you'll screw in a medium base light bulb, but it also has a built-in terminal plate where you secure down the positive and negative conductor wires. Lastly, we have a cord grip, which prevents the cord and the socket from sliding after being wired. There are several different cord grip options you can use, but in this video, we're going to use a standard cord grip. And while this video tutorial is showing how to wire a basic medium base socket, these same steps will apply for a shade ready socket and a shade ready socket with extended threads. All right, let's get started. First, measure about one and a quarter inch from the tip of the cloth covered wire and wrap an inch of electrical tape over the wire. Now, over the midsection of the tape, strip the PVC housing to expose the three conductor wires. We recommend the use of our ColorCord 3000 stripping tool, but you can also use a standard razor blade. If you're not familiar with cutting and stripping electrical wire, you can check out our video on how to cut and strip cloth covered electrical wire. After removing the PVC housing, make sure that there are no cuts on the conductor wires exposing the internal stranded copper wire. Now take the conductor wires and strip one end of each wire to expose about 3 16 of an inch of the copper stranded wire. Using your fingers, twist the stranded wires together. The next step is to solder the copper stranded wire. While this step is optional, we highly recommend soldering the ends for a stronger and easier to manage contact point when connecting them to the terminals. If you don't have any soldering experience, you can check out the video Tinning Explained on the video page of our website. Once you're through with soldering and your copper stranded wires are tinned, it's time to start wiring your socket. Now you're going to take both pieces of your cord grip and twist it over the cloth covered wire. Be sure to bend back the prongs on the male insert to avoid fraying the cloth covering. The cord grip's threaded end should face the conductor wires. Now take the socket cap, flip it upside down, and locate the screw of the ground terminal. Loosen the screw to about 1 8 of an inch. Insert the ground wire through the top opening of the cap. Next, you're gonna take your pliers and bend the exposed end of the ground wire to a 90 degree angle and insert the exposed section of the green wire into the ground terminal opening, which is under the screw. Make sure the exposed copper wire is completely inside the hole, then secure the wire in place with the screw. It should look like this. Now take your socket body, flip it upside down, and locate the positive and negative ports. The positive terminal will be the bent brass plate, and the negative is the open plate that reveals the silver piece underneath. Flip the socket body over again and locate the corresponding positive and negative terminals, which will be directly above the positive and negative ports. Align the two conductor wires with the terminal so that the black wires align with the positive terminal and the white wire with the negative. Insert the black conductor wire into one of the two round positive terminal holes and the white conductor wire into one of the round negative terminal holes. Then make sure each conductor wire is locked in place. If done correctly, you won't be able to pull the wire out of the terminal. Align the wings of the cap and the side pockets of the socket body Push them together until you feel the two pieces lock in place. Once the socket is locked, slide the cord grip towards the socket. Twist the cord grip tightly into the socket. Lastly, take the cap of the cord grip and screw it onto the male insert part of the cord grip. And the results should look like this. You've just successfully wired a medium base basic socket. To reiterate what was said at the beginning of the video tutorial, these same steps can be taken to wire a shade-ready socket and a shade-ready socket with extended threads. 
We hope this tutorial helps you understand how to wire our ivory medium base socket. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to us, and you can check out our other videos at colorcord.com.